Hi, question 13 from the OCR Gateway Physics P3 section of their specimen paper. This question is about fuel consumption for different road vehicles. Fuel consumption figures depend upon road conditions, driving style and vehicle speed. Explain how one other factor affects fuel consumption figures. And it's got to be an idea about energy. So when you think of these things, remember they've given you these three, so you can't pick these three. Have a little think. I think there are kind of two possible way, um, ideas about energy that can affect fuel consumption figures. It's a two mark question. So remember, you've got to explain. So you've got to state the idea and then say how that affects fuel consumption. All right, pause the video, have a little go, and then come back to me. Yeah, okay, so the first idea is, well, it's the mass of the vehicle, okay? Uh, the mass of the vehicle. Now, kinetic energy um, depends upon mass and velocity, so more mass, more kinetic energy, so therefore more fuel needed to, to supply. So I'll put that in there, more mass more kinetic energy, more fuel needed. Okay, that's your first idea. The other idea could be the streamlining of the car. Okay, so how streamlined is it? Don't put aerodynamics. Um, aerodynamics is the science of air moving. Streamlining is the actual uh, making the car have a low surface area presented to the wind to allow it to waste less energy through friction with the air or drag or air resistance, any of those things. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Another data handling section, looks like to me. So car manufacturers are required to publish environmental and running cost data about the cars they manufacture. This helps car buyers choose which car to buy. So here's five different cars. This is their fuel consumption. You were told earlier that the question was about fuel consumption. Uh, this is the engine size. Now that's not really important, although smaller engine sizes are normally the more economical and environmentally um, sound more environmentally uh, less environmentally harmful fuel cost that's an important factor as you're going to discover and co2 emissions remember co2 is our main greenhouse gas and noise now noise i didn't think well, noise was very um important but actually noise is an environmental um consideration because we talk about noise pollution ronan and anna want to buy a new car they want a car which provides the best balance between economic and environmental impact. So you're going to have to think about both at once and compare. We should buy car Z, Ronan says, because car Z has the lowest fuel consumption and is the quietest mod model. Anna realises that Ronan is wrong. So why is he wrong? Use the data in the table to explain why Ronan is wrong. Which car should Anna Anna and Ronan buy and give the reasons. So let me just take this question apart. It's a free mark question. I'll leave this on while you attempt it. Explain why Ronan is wrong. That's your first mark. Which car should they choose and give the reasons? One reason is going to be uh, one reason is going to be economic and the next reason is going to be environmental. So that's three marks. Okay, have a little go at that. Okay, welcome back. So why is Ronan wrong? Uh, he is wrong because he says that car Z has the lowest fuel consumption. Car Z, it says here, 16.7 kilometers per litre. Uh, no, that is in fact the highest fuel consumption. The lowest fuel consumption is car V. Okay, 
because it's does the most kilometers for each liter. So that's a, uh, that's a more economic car in that sense. Now, which one should they buy? Okay, well, if they want economic saving, the first one, they need one with the lowest cost per 20,000 kilometers, look, it's that one. Or you could say the lowest fuel per um, kilometer, which is this one. Uh, then reason number two, they want one with the least environmental impact. So again, it's going to be car V, releases the least CO2 per kilometer. So really, on both counts, V is the better one on the economic count and on the environmental count. Lastly, just a little subsection, you could have said environmentally, Z is better because, look, it does the least noise pollution. I personally wouldn't have gone down that route if I was answering this question. In any case, you can see that economically it's going to be the worst one. I kind of thought noise was a red herring at first, but you can get one out of the two marks by saying that. Okay, let's move on to part three of this. Okay, part C, sorry. The main fuels for road vehicles are petrol and diesel and they come from crude oil. Describe how and why we may have to change uh, the way vehicles are powered in the future. So it's about them being from crude oil. How is your first mark? Why is your second mark? Okay, well, have a little go. Think about what you know about petrol and diesel and fossil fuels. Okay, well, welcome back. I think um, how we're going to change, we're going to have to change to some form of renewable energy. And the two obvious ones in this case are either biofuels, biodiesel, you can just grow a crop, turn it into diesel and use it in normal cars, or solar power. Now it says quite specifically in the mark scheme, it says not just saying electric cars, because actually electric cars need to be charged from the mains electricity, and our mains electricity largely comes from uh, fossil fuel power stations at the minute. So it's not an answer in itself, unless we change where we get all of our um, mains electricity from in the future as well. Why? Well, because fossil fuels are running out, uh, crude oil is a finite resource. I guess you could say running out or renewable, any of these things. Okay, thank you, and let's go on to question 14. 